Now at six, a teen walking through a kitchen during what are believed to be her final hours of life. Good evening, I'm Rob Johnson. And I'm Erica Sargent. We begin with that breaking news. Rosemont police just released video and audio. Key clues in the case of a young woman found dead in a hotel freezer. Here's CBS 2's Sandra Torres. These newly released images give us a glimpse into the last minutes of Kanika Jenkins' life. They show the 19-year-old inside a kitchen in the Crown Plaza Hotel early Saturday morning, slowly walking out of the camera's view. This is the last time we see Kanika on video. I want to see all. I want to see her literally actually walking into this freezer. There has to be an answer to how that happened. Better yet, there has to be an answer to why that happened. Why is Teresa sitting here? Attorneys for Ms. Martin say they've asked Rosemont police for all 36 hours of surveillance video and 911 calls relevant to the case. We've got approximately eight snippets. They show uh, different portions of the hotel. The images we received appear to show Kanika walking out of an elevator, stumbling down a hallway. Another clip shows her bumping into a railing, catching herself before falling. A young lady who clearly is in need of some attention. She's trying to find her way, and no one from Crown Plaza Hotel responds to her. I was calling because my daughter came to this to a party here last night, a gathering with her friends. And while 911 calls show Ms. Martin tried repeatedly to get help, it took more than 24 hours for someone to find Kanika's body inside the walk-in freezer. We will get to the bottom of it. We will only go to where the facts lead us. And as for the rest of the video, Rosemont police say they plan on releasing all 36 hours of surveillance images tonight. Robin Erica. Sandra, did they say why they only released some of the video up front and are now releasing the rest or all of it later? They did not give us an explanation. They just said they will release the rest. And we know tonight. their policy was to not uh, look at the surveillance video until a missing person report had been issued, but they could have probably done something a little sooner. Sure, and they had 36 hours of video to go through all week, and so detectives said we needed to make sure we looked at everything mm. before the public could see it. Okay, Sandra, thank you.